Okay guys, this is week seven. We're gonna be doing deep half guard. Okay, so we're gonna start from a pretty stuck under uh, half guard. Okay, he has underhook, not this one, this is squash. Okay, so he's got like a pretty good position. He's got the underhook on me and everything. So what I wanna do is, this hand needs to clear my face. This hand I need to frame his face to the side, not straight up, because he's gonna weigh a lot more that way. So I put my arm inside, and I frame that way. This hand goes here so I can duck my head under. As soon as I get enough space here, this hand is gonna swing under and around, okay? Now my hands are gonna go right where my legs are, so I'm gonna pull with my legs, okay? And then I'm gonna get my hands underneath him. So I pull him up over me as much as I can, Okay, my hands go around this leg. As soon as I get here, I want my head in this pocket and my knees to go all the way to the other side. This leg. Okay, now turn this way so see. Okay, and now as soon as I get here, I want my head, if you can see, in the pocket here, my shoulders deep underneath, my hands are clasping here, and I'm all the way on my side so he doesn't attack this arm. If I stand my back, this leaves this pretty vulnerable. So I turn all the way to my left side in this case. Now, how I like to do my feet is, I don't want to crisscross like a figure four because then I don't use that one so much, and my knees stay open. So I like to have this foot over, my back foot goes behind like a hook, like that. So I have a lift, I have a push and a pull on his leg. So I keep this grip. Now all I do is, once I've turned to my left, is I turn back to my right. I lift, turn back to my right, all the way to my knees, and now I can get up. Now, rewinding just a bit, if I get to this position and he's really got a good base back here, like post up, and I can't turn him that way, then I escape out this back this way. And I start coming towards the back. Okay? 